हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इपिक्स टेक्नोलॉजी टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एड्रोनो उनो हार्डवेयर एज यू नो टू वर्किंग विथ एनी डिवाइस वी नीड टू नो हार्डवेयर स्पेक वेरी वेल सो हेयर आई एम ब्रीफिंग ए स्मॉल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ हार्डवेयर ऑफ एड्रेनो उनो इन एड्रेनो उनो वी हैव यूज द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एटी मेगा थ्री ट्वेंटी एट एंड इट्स ऑपरेटिंग वोल्टेज इज फाइव वोल्ट तो फाइव वोल्ट इज द ऑपरेटिंग वोल्टेज फॉर द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इनपुट वोल्टेज दैट इज रिकमेंडेड इज सेवेन टू ट्वेल्व वोल्ट दिस इनपुट वोल्टेज कैन बी इंसर्टेड थ्रू द डी सी जैक प्रोवाइडेड इन द बोर्ड बट इफ यू कैन पावर विथ यू एस बी पोर्ट एंड यू एस बी पोर्ट ऑलरेडी हैव द फाइव वोल्ट द डिजायर्ड वोल्टेज देर आर डिजिटल इनपुट आउटपुट प्रिंस देर आर फोर्टीन डिजिटल इनपुट आउटपुट प्रिंस आउट ऑफ विच सिक्स कैन प्रोवाइड द पी डब्ल्यू एम आउटपुट You can uh, differentiate with the PWM enabled pin. Uh, you can show in the board there are uh, sine wave icons uh, beside the pin notification. That means if you see in the picture thoroughly, you can find in the three, five, six, nine, ten, eleven that are digital uh, PWM output enabled pin. As well as there is analog input pins. Analog input pins are marked as uh, A0 to A5. We can see later on, and the DC current that is maximum permissible for any input output pin that is the 40 amp milliampere. So uh, we can run a LED with uh, this DC current. As you know, the LED can draws about 20 to 25 milliampere. Uh, I am talking about the standard 5 mm LED. and there is a dc current uh, available for 3.3 volt pin is also 50 milliampere so we can uh, connect a tiny uh, microcontroller based uh, module boards over there just like wifi shield or etc 3.3 voltages are available on the output pins at power section we can see that also later on flash memory available is 32 kb out of which 0.5 kb is used for bootloader bootloader is basically using for uh, program to the pc usb port without bootloader we can able to uh, program the arduino through the serial port uh, the header is can you can show in the picture so static ram for the uh, programmer is 2 kb and e rom is 1 kb and it can operate on 16 megahertz clock speed you can see there is a crystal mounted of frequency 16 megahertz here is the schematic diagram of arduino uno you can see there is a reset switch you can use for reset any program that is loaded and restart again the same program it is not do, done the factory reset that means uh, the program cannot be erased with the reset button a reset just to change up the state the stop the current program and restart again the, with the reset switch there is one usb connector uh, you can see the in picture which type of connector it's required to connect with the pc can be used for programming to load the program into at the arduino as well as it can provide the power supply required power to the board also one dc female jack is provided to power up the arduino board with external power supplies the dc range is uh, as we have already told you in earlier section that is 7 to 12 volt as uh, arduino microcontroller is working on 5 volt there is one voltage regulator you can see ams 3117 cd 5.0 that is the voltage regulator that basically down downgrade the voltage to 5 volt from the input voltage so input voltage range is 7 to 5, uh, 12 volt and output is converted with uh, ams 3117 at 5 volt so recommended uh, dc input voltage is 9 volt to power up arduino and there are some filter capacitor you can see the filter capacitors are used to ripple free the dc voltage and rectify the dc voltage now let's have a look with the onboard mounted leds 
there are four leds mounted at adreno uno board from the right side there is one powered one led which is green it can light up when the uh, adreno board is connected with the usb port or as well as the dc input port tx and rx are the leds are glow when the program is being transferred to from the pc to the adreno board loader and L light is built in LED that is connected with pin 13 it is directly connected with the pin 13 to showing the pin 13 voltage is high or low so it will light when the pin 13 voltage is up to 5 volt now in that means digitally high and it's will stop when the pin 13 voltage is low that is digitally low you can see there are two 6 pin male headers available in adreno uno board which has marked at icsp1 and icsp2 so what is this stands for icsp stands for in circuit serial programming that means you can program the adreno board without the usb cable also the earlier i have said to you that without boot loader we can program the adreno with the icsp pin so boot loader if the boot loader is missing or damaged we can recover the adreno with help of icsp pin now we will look about the female header pins that are available on the adreno board there are four female header pins you can find in the adreno uno board so first of all i am going through the power board so there is a power board power port mm, there is one vin 15 volt and one 3.3 volt vin is you can be used for input and that can be used for the to power up the adreno board so uh, there are three ways to power up in, in adreno board one is uh, from external dc connector second is from the usb port and third one is through the vin port so vin port is ideally you can connect up to 9 volt not more than that A0 to A5 are labeled as analog pin that uh, are used for to input the analog voltage up to 5 volt. So there is a inbuilt AD converter that is analog to digital converter available in the Arduino, and they take input from the analog signals through this A0 to A5 port and returns the values between 0 to 1023. because there is a 10 bit of ad converter so resolution is between 0 to 1023 and it can be used for communication between the adreno board and the computer or other sensor or other modules sensor modules there are two pins of uh, dedicated serial port that is txd and rxd that is hardware dedicated serial port it can be used for to communicate with additional uh, device that can be used for several modules etc to sending and receiving the data through adreno lastly there are digital input and output pins so the beauty of adreno is that you can configure a pin either as input or output with help of its program code so there is nothing about specific digital input and specific digital output one pin can be configured as a digital input and the same pin can be configured as a digital output in different program in most of the adreno board the pwm function is available on pin number 3 5 6 9 10 and 11 okay the pwm signal uh, is approximately of 490 hertz and uh, uh, pin number 6 and 5 uh, uh, have a frequency of approximately 980 hertz actually there are two pins available that are analog reference and second is io reference analog reference is can be used for Uh, standard reference voltage of input ad converter so uh, for an example if you can if you can if you want to measure a voltage of 1.5 volt so you can uh, refer the uh, analog reference volt as 1.5 volt and it will convert the volt range is 0 to 1.5 instead of 0 to 5 volt 
that's all for the hardware section in next video we will discuss about the basic requirement to program an adrid thank you thanks for watching